Hello. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, good, good. Awesome. Can you do me a favor and just lean up against my car while I go uh, absolutely? Do you have any value in this? I have a lot of value in my car. Yeah, I'm going to get you a little bit of Other than that giant bag of marijuana, is there anything illegal? There is nothing illegal in that car. Well, that giant bag of marijuana is illegal. There's nothing illegal in that car. Do you have a Florida medical marijuana car? I do. Did you buy that marijuana out of the dispensary? What marijuana are you talking about? The marijuana that you open your console and slam it shut because it's sitting right there. There is no marijuana in my car. Do you have your medical car with you? Maybe. Maybe not. There you go. Go search it. I need some marijuana, actually. Right. Okay. You got any? No, I don't have any, man. I'm not right now. That sucks, man. Well, I could use some. I'll okay. buy it Unfortunately, they don't, uh, they don't supply marijuana in the jail, no. so. Yeah, I'm not going to jail. Where are you going? I'm going to be released here in a few minutes. You are? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't. So you don't have weed in the car? No. If I had some, I would smoke it. Oh. What was it then? Like tree trimmings? I didn't see whatever he saw. He said tree he saw trimmings. I don't know. He said he. What are you talking about? He said he saw what looked like marijuana, well, so it's not marijuana. He, he can see whatever he wants. He's a visionary, I'm sure. He is a visionary. There you go. What's your name? My name is Walter Ken. Walter, I'm John. My brother's name is John. Yeah. There's a lot of Johns in the world. Not very many. You think there is, but there isn't. I'd say there's probably more Johns than Walters. Well, Walter's a very unusual name. But I go by the name of Frosty. Frosty? Yes. You see that snowman in the back of my head? see him in the in the car or? in my car yes sir no I don't see frosty well then you don't see take your glasses off you may be able to see <laughs> can't see without the glasses well you need to see without the glasses okay well can you see without your glasses I do then why do you wear glasses because I have lacing I use it for reading you understand I'm sorry you said you have what I was listening to my radio. I'm sorry, Walter. I didn't mean to, to ignore you. You did ignore me. I know, but my partner was talking on the radio. I was trying to hear what he said. Just leave it there. Okay. No sense for a trivial conversation. No, I swear. I was listening to my partner talk on the radio. Never mind. I wasn't trying to ignore you, Walter. You ignored me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I sound sorry. It's okay. You from Washington? I'm from here. I live here. Oh, you live here? Yes. You have a Florida driver's license or yes. what? Oh, okay. Do you still have a house in Washington or something? Well, it's just the tag is for Washington. Now you pissing me off. Well, I was just asking why you got a Washington tag. Oh, you might be from there. Who gives a fuck whether I have a Washington tag or not? Who I'm... gives a fuck? Do you give a fuck? Just talking you to you, man. You don't give a fuck, do you? Kinda. No, you don't. I'm trying to be nice to you, Walter. You're not. You're not nice. He's not nice. You're not nice. What have I done that's not nice? Um, I, I ignored you. I'm I sorry about that. I don't want to talk to you no more. Okay. I won't talk to you, Walter. Thank you. We'll call the commander.
know him personally. Do you want to talk to me again? No. No? Okay. Should I? I don't know. You said you didn't want to talk to me. Well, you're treating me rude. I was being nothing but polite to you, Walter. You ignored me, and you yeah. treated me rude. Oh, I tried to explain to you why I had to do that. I was listening to what my partner said on the radio, Walter. Okay. I said sorry like five times. Okay, I accept your apology, and I forgive you. Okay. Well, thank you, Walter. I appreciate that. So you said you know the commander? Yes. Which one? D. But we don't really have a rank of commander, so I don't know who that could be. It's your boss. Like my sergeant, or my lieutenant, Way or my captain, or my major, or my lieutenant my colonel. In, when you call my name in, he's going to reprimand you. What? Nobody knew who you were. That's right. I just got here three days ago. I thought you said you've been here 40 years. I just came back from Washington three days ago, sir. Fuck. How many times I gotta tell you? You're pissing me off. Search my car. Do your duty and let me go. Sir. Guitar. There's no drugs in there, but you can look. I I'm a musician. Asshole. What type of music you play? Are you fucking with me? No, man. There's different types I of music, right? It's like rock. I think you're fucking with me right now. You say you want to talk to me again. I don't want to talk to you at all. Okay. We'll go back to not talking. Well, you're not being nice. I have not done anything mean to you, Walter. You, you guys have been mean since you pulled me over. I haven't done anything. Well, then why am I in cuffs then? I didn't put you in handcuffs. I didn't. Uh, well, why am I in cuffs then? Because Deputy Roddy puts you in handcuffs. Well, and he's an asshole then. Okay. And he's going to get a reprimanded from the, from the chief of police. Okay. We don't have as a chief of you, police. As soon as you fucking release me, he's going to get reprimanded and get... I'm going to call the commander... And he's gonna be fucked up. Well, we don't have a commander, and we don't have a chief well, of guess police. Guess what? We have Who a sheriff. Fuck? You know the sheriff? I'm not talking. To you. Okay. Do I have to? Do you have to talk to me? Yeah. No, it's your First okay. Amendment right to not talk to me. Thank you. One of the parts of it was the exactly. right to remain silent. That's right. I choose that. But you keep talking to me again after you say that, Walter. Well, because he's a dickhead. Okay. Well. Tell him that. I will. Okay. But he's fucking gonna fucking shoot me. He won't shoot you. I think he will. I won't. I won't let him shoot you, Walter. Really? I'll stand I in tell front of you. A, I tell me he's a dickhead. Well, no, you gotta stand right here for I now. Tell me he's a dickhead right now. I mean, you can say dickhead. Hey, hey, dickhead! There you go. Fuck you, man. He said. He said I could do that. Your partner said I could do that. So I'll fuck you. you. Okay. All right, no, now, I, now let's I be feel nice. Now. I okay, feel, yeah, I gotta do, get, I, get I, it I out. Now, now, now we're gonna be nice, right, Walter? I'm gonna be nice. Let, let's be nice, okay? Go ahead, search everything you want, sir. You're a fuckhead. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I got lots of hats. I'm a musician, dickhead. <laughs> hey, dickhead. I'm a musician. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail. That's your way of thinking about it. Well, whatever. I'll be out in 24 hours. And I'll make sure that you get fucked up. Walter, do you want to take your phone with you, though? No. What did you say? When you get out in 24 hours? When I get out, the commander is going to fuck your pension up. And fuck your woman up. And fuck your house up. And fuck you up, Moody. Rudy. Booty, Booty. no, put my fucking phone back where it was. Thank you very much. You understand that you're really. You understand? Put the phone back. He's trying to help you, Walter. He's a dickhead. You're nice. He's a dickhead. I'm a pretty good black belt. I can kick his ass with these cuffs on. 
Well, it's nice to have your phone in jail because you can get numbers out of it. I'm not going to jail. He, he's going to take you to jail, Walter. Well, I'll be on, and I'll be dismissed of everything. Okay. Okay. There you go. If that happens, then that's awesome for you, man. Uh, and I'll fuck you guys up. What's your name? Lane. Lane. You're going to fuck me up? Well, you're a pretty nice guy. I'll fuck him up. How are you going to do that? What, are you going to, like, hurt him? No. I'm going to politically fuck him up. Oh, but not, like, physically? No. Okay. I'm not a physical guy. Yeah, we don't I'll, We don't like it when people threaten us. I will take his pension. Okay. And I'll take his career. Well, and I'll take his fucking house. I'll take his fucking wife. But you're not going to do it by force. No. Okay. The commander will do it. Okay. Thank you. I just want to make sure you're not threatening either one of us. No. You can threaten us legally all you want. That's well, fine. Oh, you're a nice guy. I okay. wouldn't threaten you. Him, I would. Okay. Well, you, you have the right to sue. I Well, don't worry about that. I won't have to sue because I'm just going to take his pension. That's worse than suing. You want to take his pension just for I one bad day? I am going to take his pension right now. Just for one bad day? Yes. And I'm going to fuck him up, and he'll probably have to sell your house, and you'll probably have to get a divorce and everything, fuckhead, because this day. That's not you very remember nice, remember this day. That's my not name very is nice. Walter Camp, and you will regret you ever heard my name. That's not very nice, Walter. Well, it's the truth. I can only speak the truth. Well, that's good. You should only speak the truth. There you go. The truth will set you free. Or what well, movie is that it from? It will fuck him up and it will set you free. It okay. Will fuck him up. Okay, there you go. What we got to do now? Uh, go to jail. Okay. Let's get back. Okay. I'm not. There you go. I'm ready to go. Because I'm ready to fuck you up. You like my car? Take my keys. Lock it up, please. It's gonna, uh, we'll have somebody come tell No, me. no, no, no. You will not tell my vehicle. No, 100% I'm telling you. You will not tell my vehicle. Okay. All right. Lock it up. Shut the keys off. Take the key. Shut it off. Next, everything. Next question. Let's, next what? conversation. You have another question? No, I, I want you to do that first. Okay. And then we... Well, I'm telling you. So we're not towing it. 100% it's getting We killed. are not towing it. No, we're not. We are not. We're not. We are not. not. We are towing it. Well, then you're fucked up. What? Okay. Okay. I'm going to take your pension, fuck it. Ah. Now you see why I'm taking this pension? Well. I can't. It's in our policy that we have well, to guess tow the what? car. Don't say nothing anymore to me because I'll take yours too. Shut up. Okay. So you don't want to talk again? Just shut up. Okay. I won't talk to, to you anymore. Pension, okay? Okay, I won't talk to you anymore. Be nice. Walker. Walter, you got to stay back here, though, okay? I'm taking his pension. Okay. okay. I will do whatever you want, sir. Okay, I just need you to hang out right, right well, where you are. fucking it. I will That's hang good, out man. all you want, sir. That's good, right there. I'm taking your pension, fuckhead. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nice to you, sir. John, you're a nice guy. Okay. The, the guy behind me is a fuckhead. And I'm going to take this pension, and, and in five years, he's going to be divorced, and he's gonna, I'm going to own his house, and you're going to remember this conversation, John. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure uh, Deputy Rowdy over here will give me a call and let me know if that happens. Well, Deputy Rowdy will not be a deputy anymore. He'll be uh, maybe a uh, Walmart greeter. Walmart greeter? Maybe. I feel like he could probably do better than that. Well, that's pretty good for him. He'd work like security at Walmart. Probably make well, a little bit more. I know. He will never do security yet. When I'm done with him, he'll never do security you, again. You, write that down. you see, because... 51.1? Yeah. You will, Walter, ne you stay back you will never do security I, I again talk. because I'm taking his pension. I'm not even allowed to be a security guard? No, not you can't even be a security, security guard, sir. You'll be, be a Walmart greeter, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I, I can appreciate maybe. Maybe. You think I'm afraid of you? <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Well, you're the biggest piece of shit around.
an unfortunate error for you, sir. Not me. You're the one that's going to get fucked. You see, you're the one that's going to get fucked up. Not me. I'll see you in court, bitch. He's not least my bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'll see him in court, bitch. Okay, sweet. Sweet? Yeah, I like you, John. Good. You're a good guy. Fuck yeah. you, bitch. I'm not talking to the bitch. I'm talking to you, John. All right. Well, I appreciate you using my name. Thank you, John. Yeah, no problem, Walter. I'll fuck the bitch later. Okay. And his dog. Okay. And his and his women and his kids probably. I might even fuck his kids. That's a weird. <laughs> it's all done. It's weird, but what the fuck? He's weird, so I'm, I'm all get weird. As weird as he is, John, I'm gonna fuck his kids. <laughs> how are you gonna do that? Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you got, any, you got any females in your family? <laughs> Does he have females? I'm not sure. Well, I'll fuck his kid, too. Okay. And he asks, of course. Or if I don't do it, I'll have somebody else fucking in the ass. When he's at high school. Or whatever he's at. College me. Okay. Yeah. This is not over, John. What if it's like an eight-year-old? Well, I don't care. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't get cuffed by an eight year old. Okay. But an eight year old can get fucked, can he? Can Kathy John? Can I'm they? not sure, I man. I think so. I think so. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, though, to be well, honest, Walter. Well, not really. Well, I don't hear it is. Well, he just fucked me, so I'm going to fuck his kids. Probably shouldn't do that. Get it on, baby. Get it on, baby. Get it on, baby. Get it on, baby. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Fuck you. I got a lawyer that's worth $1,000 an hour. <laughs> $12,000 a day. Well, it's penny cash. Sounds like it's a lot of money. We'll see. No, I don't. You will. When I take his bitch, fuck okay. his kids. You got any kids? What? You got any kids? I don't really think that's a good thing. I'm going to fuck them in the ass. If I don't do it, I'm going to have somebody else fuck them in the ass. And I want you on the camera to know this. You know what? That's it. That's all you want to be in there? Yeah.
That's it. Okay. I say my piece. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> I believe you, Walter. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a gentleman. Okay. What's that? Nothing. I'm not talking to you. I thought you were. I talking to John. I'm gonna call you into court, John. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want your testimony to say I cooperated the whole time and I only cussed out the asshole that pulled me over. That's the most it. part, they just watch our camera footage. I know. I know we're on camera. I usually charge $1,000 an hour for being on camera. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you buy it? The con? It's none of your business. What is con? No, and the judge will take care of that. And I'll dismiss everything, and there I'll you take go. your attention and fuck your kids. I'll find you. It's a small island. It's a weird thing to say, Walter. Well, don't talk to me, John. I'm, I'm talking just saying, to fuck it's weird. Dude. I'm talking to fuck it. Okay. I want to be nice to you, John. Okay. So it's Walter Camp. Yes, sir. Who's Frank Walter? What? Just, what? It's just rented to Frank Walter. Walter Frank. Camp. So it was an error. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. Run it, run it, run the plate, run everything. Go ahead, go ahead, have fun. Thank you. I'm gonna take his pension and fuck his kids. Okay. I'm gonna have a nigger fuck his kids. At his high school. I'll find out where his kids go to school and I'll have a nigger fuck them in the ass. It only, okay, costs, it only costs like a thousand dollars. But you know what? I got it. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just lean over here. Okay. Look at the relay and I'll Yeah, tell patrol. Fuck you. By the way, from Frosty. Okay. Well, that's my right, right? You can see what I want. Well, well, it's a free country, right? Well, there's some things you can't say. What? You can't threaten people. I'm not threaten anybody. You, you kind of have, Walter. I didn't threaten anybody. Maybe you misinterpreted it. I don't think there's any way to misinterpret that you're going to have a black man fuck his kids or that well, you're going to fuck his kids. that's probably true, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how other I way. I don't know what will happen. I you mean, even told me you're going to fuck his kids in the well, ass. That's no. a pretty direct statement. Well, I don't that's, know. Your, that's your interpretation. Yeah, sir. but what other way could you interpret that? Well, a judge will interpret it differently. Okay. Well, I... I disagree with you on that, Walter. Well, you can disagree with me on what, John? I agree to disagree. You're not a judge. I know I'm not. There you go. I'm not judge, jury, or executioner. I'm That's just right. a police Do officer. Do your duty, John, and shut up. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. I know the law. I took two years of law. I have a, a 180 IQ. And I'm going to totally take this guy's pension. Okay. And I'm going to have my people make him sell his house. And I'm going to have my people make him get a divorce. Okay. That's what you got to do, Walter. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I don't want to, but I, I think, I feel I have to. That's what you think is right, to sue and well, do that. Well, you think this is right? Do you think this is right? Well, he believes you're impaired. I am not impaired. We have to do it. You just said we have to do our duty. Do your duty, and I'm going to take his pension. Okay. Because of it. Well, our duty is to get impaired drivers off the road. My duty is to get assholes off the highway, and I'll take. I'll make sure he'll be greeting at Walmart in a, in a month. Okay. We don't have a Walmart down here. Maybe one Dixie? Well, we'll find one. Okay. Him. Don't worry. Okay. That's him. That's not immaterial. He will be a greeter somewhere. Mm-hmm. 
good enough, John? Do I look worried? I don't think You so. don't look worried at all, I Walter. I don't look worried No, not a I'm not bit. even fucking, I don't even give a fuck. Okay. Thing you asked me to do. Well, the main thing I asked you to do was stand there, and you have done that, Walter. I'll give you Thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And I want to tell everyone that I cooperated totally with the, the Monroe Sheriff's Department, and I'm telling you right now, Judge, that this is an improper uh, citation, and I request release tomorrow with no charges. Thank you. Okay. My lawyer will handle the rest. Copy. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Who's your lawyer? Doesn't matter. Right, thousand dollars an hour. I don't know lo no lawyers down here that are that expensive. No lawyer down here with thousand dollars. Still that line doesn't further. That's some like corporate business account lawyer. Yeah. There you go, John. Well, this isn't really a corporate business infraction. Who do you know? What? Maybe you don't. I know most of the attorneys you down don't here. Know nothing, do you? Down here? You don't know nothing, do you? I know a few things. You don't know nothing. Okay. But I like anyway. Well, I appreciate that, Walter. And I'm cooperating. Okay. I will not do anything against in Monroe Sheriff's Department. Thank you. Okay. Only dickhead gets that. You said I could do that. Mm -hmm. You said that I can say whatever I want to dickhead. Well, you can you call him a dickhead, but you can't threaten him or threaten his family. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll settle that in court. Okay. Yeah, calling someone a dickhead or flicking us off, telling us to go fuck ourselves, that's all fine. I don't care about that. Okay. People say that to me all the time. Fantastic. I just John. smile and wave. You're a good guy. Yeah. But if someone says they're going to do something to our family, I kind of, you know, it's a well, different story. You can't John, say that. Guess what? Because that's a threat. Guess what? Uh huh. I won't do it. Okay. I'll have somebody else do it. Oh, there you go again, Walter. I, I didn't just use, I what, John? Well, it's the same thing, man. You can't pay some. You can't say I you're gonna say whatever I want. It's a free country. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you in court. That that'll be an argument for the judge. You, by the way. Okay. Are you gonna take it to trial? Yes. Okay. Right, I look I'm forward to it. I'm gonna subpoena you that you. I cooperated every ounce of the way. Okay. Never resisted or realized. Never said anything opposing to you, John. Only the dickhead was the shit. Okay. You didn't pull me over. Dickhead did. What do you say he pulled you over for? You talked to him about that, John. He didn't tell you? You or, talk to him about that, John. Okay. I don't know what he pulled you over for. Well, then so. talk to him about that, John. Okay. How many times did I got to tell you, John? I thought you would tell me. I'm sorry, Walter. Well, talk to him about this, I, John. I will. Well, I don't know why he pulled me over, either. Okay. So go talk to him, sir. Cut me off. I went to the left and came back in to avoid an accident. That's it, John. That's uh -huh. it. And if he tows my vehicle, if you tow my vehicle, sit right there. If you tow my sit right there, just I will, sit right there. sir. Um, the person out of Washington, they haven't reported it yet, um, but she's calling, because they just called the owner. Um, so she's calling right now to enter the store on the ground charges. Uh, it was an overdue rental. She was like, 
Uh, he's not supposed to be in the state of Washington. And, and uh, it was supposed to be back a couple days ago. Like, obviously, he's not bringing it back. I'm calling. I want to shoot him. I was already calling today to report to I'm guessing you want me to take him? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm not going to put him in my phone. But, so, uh, it might be better if you... Uh, Miranda? Yeah, probably. Just ask him if he knew that Bob was supposed to be back. And if he knew that they told him he wasn't allowed to leave the state of Washington. And that they're reporting it stolen. No, they're it's stolen. Uh, he said to me, I, I know he only said to you like four or five times, but he said to me probably a hundred times, he's going to find you, fuck you in the ass, fuck your wife in the ass, fuck your kids in the ass. Um, he's going to, yeah. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely, I'm charging that for sure. Okay, Walter. What's so, I, you've probably seen it on the movies. I don't know if you've ever been read it before, personally. I'm going to read you what's known as your Miranda warning. When they told that vehicle, I'm going to destroy this truck. The one you behind go. you? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a sniper. Okay. I can kill you from 15 yards away. I don't have to see you. Okay. Well, so I'm going to read it to you real quick. Be aware of that. Okay, I'm just going to read it to you real quick. Walter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just listen, okay? Get it over with, will you? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Of course I do. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being lawyer. questioned. You know what okay, sniper, Walter, fuckhead? Walter, hold on one second. I I'm going to kill that guy. Okay. There you go. You now, can decide. I'm going to kill him. Okay. Okay. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any I'm gonna questions. I'm going to kill your dog, too. Or make any statements. I'm going to kill your dog. Thank okay. you. Walter, you just got to listen to me for a second, okay, man. Okay, thank you. I, I get go it. You, you don't like him, man. Just, one Fuck second, him. just listen yeah, to me real quick, okay? Yes. So you understood you have the right to remain silent. You understand, and you said you have a lawyer, uh, and if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed lawyer. to represent you before yeah. any questioning if you wish. It's all good. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Okay? Do you understand each of these rights I've yes. explained to you? I took law two years. Okay. Have you asked any law enforcement officer, me or Deputy Roddy, to speak to an attorney? No. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? I wish to talk to you, okay. not Dickhead. Okay, Dickhead won't talk to you anymore, okay? okay. So, look, here's the deal, man. Okay. Where did you get the car at? I rented it. From where? Washington. Okay. How long was the rental for? Uh, until November 1st, and then I, I they told me I could extend it anytime I want to, and I, I will extend it. Did you extend it? Or you were waiting to extend it? I'm going to do it right. I'm in the process of doing that. Okay. And I'm all good. So you, you rented it? legal car. I got you. And you rented it in Washington yes, State? Yes, sir. Okay, and you drove it here? Yes, sir. Was there anything about... 4,800 miles. Okay, was there anything in there about not driving it out of Washington? No. They said you could take it wherever you wanted to? Yes. Okay. Because they said the car was supposed to be back on, you know, a few days ago. November 1st. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to have it over the due date. They said I could extend it. I'll get those call them right now, and then they will, and that's good. Okay. Well, the thing is, you didn't extend it, though. You're a date. That's, you're, that's none of your business. Okay. That's, that's fine. Personal. That's fine. But we talked you to the rental. You don't have nothing to do with my personal business. Okay, Walter. But the thing okay. is, is that we talked to the rental company, and they said that car is past due, and apparently they're saying that they, they, they told you it's not supposed to be in Florida. It's not supposed to be out of... That's not true. They never told you that? That's not true. Okay. Okay. Just just sit back up in the car. Okay? Just wait right there. I think you're stiff right now. Okay. Uh, he said it was supposed to be back November 1st. He could extend it, but he hasn't. Hey, so why didn't you uh, take the car back to the rental? It's none of your business. Okay. It has well, nothing to do with this arrest. Okay. Well, why did you come down here with it? What were you going to do but down I here? I live here. You live in Monroe County? I live in Key West. You, you own a house or you're like renting one? It's none of your business. Okay. Okay, just wait right there again, Walker. 
Uh, basically, fuck you. So. Can you get a phone number for him? Phone number for him? Yeah. Hey, Walter, what's a good phone number for you? The phone number, I, it's in my car. You want it? Look yeah. it up. The phone in your car? No, 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 your phone number. The council. The council. The council. The council has my phone number. What council? In my car. There's a council. Council. You know what that is? You know what that is? Like C O U N C I L or C O N S O L E? Place where you put your drink or anything else. Console. Okay, I'm sorry. It might just be we got different accents. Okay. I'm from the south, so I, am too. I, I thought you were saying console. I am from the like, I, like console, like place in Alabama. Okay, so your phone number's in there. Yes. Sir. Okay. I'm cooperating with you, not Dickhead. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I got you. Okay. He said it's in the console of the car. Oh, Okay. You can go and take it if you want. We'll okay. give you the tow receipt when you're uh, before you head out. Okay. Thanks. Yep, yeah, keys are in there. What? Everything. Who the tow truck driver? Yes. We don't give you that information. We just give you where it's going to. Well, guess what? If he anything comes out of that car, I'll kill him too. Okay, well, that's I'll not I'll tell you right nice. now on camera. I will kill that motherfucker. Walter, you got to stay back, man. There you go, man. I don't like when people get close to me. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to tell you. Okay. I like my personal space, you know? I, it's a good thing because I can kick you in the face right now. Okay, well, you probably shouldn't do that. Well, I, I'm a fourth-degree black belt. A fourth-degree black belt? I can put my foot above your head. Wow, that's pretty agile, man. Don't piss me off. I'm saying I couldn't do that. Well, I'm I can't. So, I'm almost 30 years old, and I'm I can. 67 years old. I can barely I, sit I down without my back right popping. Now. I can kick your ass and him too, and drive off, but I will not do that. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Walter. I well, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Well, thank you. And I can kill that dog too. Okay. You think your weapons scare me? I'm a sniper. Okay. I can shoot you from 2,000 yards, right in between your eyes. I thought it was 1,500 yards. I'm qualified at 1,500 yards. So you can do 2,000? 2,000 yards. That's pretty far. Yeah. You don't even hear it. You will not see it. You will be dead. Yeah. There you go. He will be dead. Okay. Were you in the dog, too. Were you in the military or something? Know your business. Okay. A mission. What they call a mercenary. Mercenary, okay. Where'd you get your training at? It's not your business. Okay. I was trying to find out. All man. you gotta know is if I can kill you from 2,000 yards away. That's all you need to know. Okay. And I will tell you that. Okay. There you go. Sweet. And if he tows my car, I'm gonna kill the tow truck driver. The sheriff. Now, I'm not going to kill you, but I will take those guys out. It won't be now. It won't be six months from now. But you're dead, dude. Okay. We're good. Yeah, we're all good now. All right, we're going to go back to my car, okay, Walter? Fantastic. I have enough, sir. Okay. Yeah. Just walk to the front of my car. Yes, sir. Walk up to the front. Absolutely. And then just go ahead and widen your stance a little bit. There you go. And just lean like Another that. Another drill. Okay. Go ahead. That's good. Just wait one second. We just got to put on gloves real quick. You search whatever you want, dude. I don't want to get my germs on you, Walter. I have nothing on me. Okay. You see, if I had a gun, you'd be all dead right now. Okay. Why? That's why I don't carry yet. But I do have a sniper rifle. 
M60. This is not over. We bought the six Bud Lights. This is not over, sir. That's not over. This is what your life is over, but not this. 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. And the, all that was in the car empty. Okay, let's go to the back of my car. Over here. We all good now? Other side. Okay. Yeah, there, there, other side. There you go, walk in. Hey, you don't have anything in your uh, in your hat besides your hair, do you? Take my hat. Do it. Take oh, you it. Got some long hair, man. Yeah, got some it's, it's down to the my knees. All right, go you ahead. don't know who you're fucking with. Okay, well, you have no idea. Okay, just take a seat for me. Of course. I'll be out tomorrow morning. Okay. And that guy will be dead okay. in, a, in six months. Sounds good, Walter. There you go. I'm gonna put your hat right here, okay? Well, you can, you can, you can put me down that. He'll be dead in six months. All right. I don't give a fuck. All right, I'm gonna close go the door. Watch your leg, okay? Yeah. Oh. You're a good guy, John. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I try to be nice. I'm in touch with you. He's dead. You can mark that in your calendar. He's killed his dog, too. And his wife and his kids. There you go. Tell him to have a good day, John. Same thing. Enjoy your next six months because he's going to be dead. Now I'm boring around Key West DUI. There you go. Enjoy. All right, Walter, we're going to finish your trip to uh, Key West, all right? You can do whatever you want, sir. And you're, and you're your customer, sir. <coughs> I am really no Cena. You have what? Do whatever you want, sir. Okay. I have no say. Roddy? Roddy? Yeah, Roddy. He 
he will no longer exist on this planet. Okay. It could be now, it could be next month, it could be three months from now, he's dead. Okay. Come on, Phil, I know it. He's dead. Roddy is dead. You might as well get another deputy because he's fucked. You can't stop it, John. It's mafia. Once they tell him he's dead, he's dead. <coughs> That's it. I'll be in Montana when he dies. Who knows where I'll be. Well, you're telling us your getaway plan now, Walter. Did? You don't even know. I suggest you just be quiet. And tell Roddy goodbye. That's what I suggest. Spirit of your life, John, because you're a nice guy. Deputy Roddy's a nice guy, I like him. He's dead. I don't even know this guy. He's I'd be dead. I'd be real sad if that He's happened. Dead, John. Don't forget it. Forget about him. Okay. Well I'd be real He's sad if casualties. that happens. Okay. There's casualties everywhere, John. Yeah. Well, I suppose. There you go. He's a casualty. Forget about him. Say goodbye to him if you want. Take him out to dinner if you want. He's going to be dead in six months. Do whatever you want, Sean. Free country. People die every day, John. Mm hmm. Well, accidents happen, you know what I mean? Yep. It just shit happens. But Roddy ain't going to make it. It's what we call a expendable crowd. He is expendable, John. We're all expendable. He's a piece of shit. He's expendable. Casualties of the war, John. <coughs> you know, we're in a war, John. What's in the no game? in a war with, Walter. We're in a war. And guess what? Roddy just died. He was hit by a... Uh, what do they call that? A friendly fire. Well, that sucks. Well, that sucks, right? Yeah. People die all the time from friendly fire. I know guys that killed their sergeant and their lieutenant because they're assholes in Vietnam. It's called Friendly Fire. Well, Roddy just met Friendly Fire. He will be expendable. Say goodbye to him. It's okay, John. People die every day. It's no big deal. He's one piece of a maggot off the planet. That's all. That's the way we look at it. He's just another person off the planet that we don't need. He's a bad guy, so there you go. Maybe I'll save his wife and his children. Maybe I spoke to him out of line, but he will be dead. And, and his dog probably too, because the dog is devoted to him, so we have to kill both of them. You understand? Yeah. It's just the way it goes. I don't really think it's a good plan, Walter. Well, the dog and him is dead. I'll, only, I'll, I'll tell you what, John. I'm a nice guy. I'll let his wife and his kids live, and I won't fuck his kid. Okay, how's that? Well, that's very nice of you, Walter. There you go. That's the best I can do, John. But he told my vehicle, so he will die. And his dog too. And the truck driver 
and we've got by far equal dialogues. Well, I mean, he really had no part there in that. That's all I gotta say, John. I'm done. You'll see. You think you think I'm kidding, <laughs> but I'm not. Look at the beautiful sunset, Walter. You have no idea, John. It's a beautiful day you have outside. No idea, John. You have no idea. Just look around. Look at all the beauty around you. John, I suggest you just shut up. So I don't have to kill you too. I'm just trying to say, man, there's beautiful things just all be around quiet, us. Please. Okay. Thank you. Plan, Walter. Well, it's the it's the e, it's the best plan because <laughs> he fucked up, John. You, you don't understand. You didn't fuck up. You didn't pull me over. He pulled me over, and he impounded my car, so he will die. That's the plan, John. Okay. Not you. Not anybody else. But he will die. Hey, Walter, quick question. When we get down there... I have no questions for you, John. No, 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 It's a question from me to you. I can't hear you, John. It's a question from me to you. Right. When we get down there, I'm going to ask you to do the breath test. Are you going to do that? I am not. Okay. And don't make me beat any, any of your officers up. Okay. I'll let them know. I, I, I put three of them in the hospital before, and I put five of them in intensive care. Do not make me... Fuck them up, okay? Don't make me do that. Okay, I'll let them know. Thank you. I want to be cool, okay? All right. Let the ha my lawyer handle this shit. Don't make me beat up your officers, please. Okay. Thank you. I've done it twice in my life. One in San Diego and one in uh, fucking uh, Louisiana. Each time I sent three, three to five officers in intensive care, and I uh, almost killed two of them. So there you go. Don't make me do that, John. Be nice to me. I am being nice to you, Walter. Thank you. But uh, Mr. Geiger is dead. Listening to this right now is you and me. Well, I'm just telling you. I thought you were recording me. What? Doesn't matter. I don't care. You see, you see, John. I really don't care. 
Uh-huh. I don't care if you record me. I don't care if you're photographing me. It doesn't matter. The motherfucker is dead, and you're only alive because I like you. That's it. Well, thank you, Walter. be dead, too. Well, I appreciate that. I like well, my life. There you go. Go home to your kids, kiss them, and thank God that you're alive. I will. That's what I suggest. Do that every day, Walter. Well, okay. It's a tough job sometimes, man. Well, that motherfucker's dead. And he's not going to kiss his kids no more. He's not going to go home. He's not going to be around for Christmas. He's going to be dead. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all I got to say. a job though, right? Well, you'll see. You'll see, John. You don't know who I am. You will, you will see it when we get there. Okay. When I make my phone call, you will see. And then, you might be enlightened. But I don't know. You guys are pretty thick-headed. I do you have seem, a large head. You seem pretty smart. Though. The other asshole... Definitely take his pension. Maybe I won't even kill him. I'll just take his pension and take his house and take his wife and maybe we'll be a divorce. That should be good enough. That'd be good enough, John. I'm not greedy. Well, I know we'll appreciate that. Well, you can repeat it all you want. <coughs> no, I said appreciate. Oh, well. You know, I don't know where he lives, but the house he lives in, it's going to be mine. I'm going to be living in his house. And I, you know what? After the divorce, I might even go out to dinner with his wife. <laughs> because he's going to be a loser, and I'm going to have money. I'm going to have the house. So she might even date me, John. Sweet, man. Well, I'm optimistic. Optimistic is good. Well... Hey, after divorce, hey, I'll live in his house, and I'll be making love to his wife. I think that's pretty good payback. I might not even have to kill him for that. If I take his house and fuck his wife, I think that'd be pretty much even. Even. Don't you think, John? Yeah, I don't think he's got to die for it. Well, John, if you don't like it, then I'll have to kill him. You understand? You don't have a choice, really. It's not a, a choice decision. Uh-huh. Either God let me take his house and fuck his wife, or I'm going to kill him. That's it. That's the choice. There is no other choice, John. So, there you go. I'm good with that. I can't speak for him as to how he'd feel about it, but well, that's a decision for him, like I guess. It, I can speak for him right now. He, he probably like won't. And you think I like being cuffed in behind, behind this car right now when I was going to play bocce ball? You think I like this, John? As much as I'm suffering, every time I put, every time I fuck his wife, and he calls me and says, "Why are you fucking my wife in my house?" I'm gonna say because you cut me. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you? Did I tell you not to do that? But you still did it, you idiot motherfucker. So now I gotta fuck your wife and be in your house and drink your beer and drink your wine and fuck you. You understand? 
That's how it goes, John. That's politics. <laughs> and I got all the cars, John. I got a full house. I got four of a kind, and uh, Bonehead back there only, only's got a full house. See, I got four of a kind, and he's got a full house, and he's going to lose, lose, lose. There you go, John. Have a good day. I like Texas Hold'em. It's a fun game. Yeah. Well, he won't like it, John. You like it because I'm not touching you, but I'm going to fuck him up. He's not going to like it at all, John. He's not going to like me at all. Every time he, you mention my name, he's going to cringe. Every time you mention my name, he's going to fucking... His nuts going to go right back back in his body because I'm fucking his wife. There you go. And actually, I got an eight and a half inch dick, so she probably will like it because he looks like he's got a stubby. He don't look like he's hung at all. I got an eight and a half inch dick. I think he's only got like a five or six inch so, shit, there won't be no big deal. I'll fuck his wife and she'll love me. We're all good. Yeah, maybe. You see, I know people that know the police band, dude. And I'll find where he lives. I'll find where his kids go to school. And guess what? I'll be there. Okay. I got people in the Pentagon. <coughs> like Department of Justice. That's none of your business, John. Okay. I'm trying to see I'm trying to keep you alive, so be quiet. Alright, Walter, I'm sorry. What I'm telling you is stuff that can kill you, so I'm just venting, so don't All say right. nothing, John. Alright, I won't interrupt you, Walter. guns, man. I mean, I'm well, all right close I am, range. But. I am, John. I mean, she can go over since I was 12 years old from 1,500 yards away. It's a small target. The, the government recruited me. I'm, I'm supposed to go to Baghdad, but I, and they're going to give me a Hellcat and $500,000. I'm a mercenary. I'm a sniper. I don't even understand, John. Yeah, I got you, man. Well, I'm not bullshitting you, John. See, people bullshit you, John. Uh -huh. I am not. See, I don't have one ounce of bullshit in my whole life. I only speak the truth, John, and that motherfucker's dead in your life because you're a nice guy. End of story. That's just how it is, John. <coughs>
Probably almost dinner time there. I said what I had to say, John. I'm done. Okay. Talk to my lawyer from now on. All right. You got a full confession on my camera. I can't get him any more clear than that, John. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You have all the proof you want. So just take it and book me, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you.
I'm glad you're, you know, I got it. Hey, Walter, give me just one sec, okay? I'm on Sergeant's Can you give me some dinner while I'm on the phone? I'm hungry. Yeah. Tell him, yeah, yeah, one guy that's hungry to come in. We're almost there, Walter. We're no, about... almost there. I know where we're going. I know where we're going, dude. Okay. I live here. Alright. I'm ass. up in their life and I can't hear you. So most people have one mess up in their life so I can't hear you. I can't talk much louder than that. My throat yeah, is uh, loud. I can't hear you man. So then maybe don't even speak then you'll be good. Okay. You claim the fifth. I'll save it for the judge, okay? Okay. give you some food when we get there. Thank you. Yes, sir.
How was it? That's usually what I hear about it. I wanted to see how it is. You see, I'm here to raise blankets for the cops. You don't know who I am. So I do a lot of good things. Mm-hmm. You arrested a good person. get you out as soon as we park, okay? I appreciate that, you know. Yeah. Fuck. I haven't given you any guff at all. I haven't resisted at all. And I like you, John, but these cuffs suck. I know, man. I'm sorry. Fuck. I'm a handicapped person, by the way. I'm 67 years old, handicapped. Florida license and a Florida handicap sticker in my car. I think this is abuse, John. I'll let my lawyer tell me, but I think it is. I'm not really sure, to be honest, Walter. Well, I'm, I'm kind of well, I'm in pain right now, John. I was happy. I was happy an hour ago. I know I'm not, John, so I think that's abuse. I don't know what lawyers call it, but I think it's abuse. See, I stay right there. You know that that guy's gonna check in every night, and I kill him right here in this parking lot. He wouldn't even know it. Well, that wouldn't be very nice, well, Walter. We're not talking about nice, John. We're talking about reality. My nice went out the window when you arrested me. Yeah, I can sit right over there and shoot him before he even gets into this place. Right in the head. Let me do up, right here. You'll be sitting right here in your spot, right, John? John. You'll be dead, and you'll wait for the thing to open up. And guess what? Your sheriff will be dead. He'll be sitting right here, dead. There you go. Like the sheriff of the whole county? No, just him, John. Oh, the deputy that arrested you? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't want to kill everybody. Just the guy who fucked me. Alright, well, that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense to me, too, John. I gotta put this stuff away real quick. In just 30 seconds. I have nothing against you, John. Okay. If you need, it, if you need help, let me know, Walter. Well, I'm a handicapped guy, John. See okay, that's what I'm you saying. see my knees? Yeah, I see them, Walter. That's what I'm saying. If you need I got help. scars everywhere, John. Okay. You all right? There you go. Do you want to hold your hat? 
I got to keep the handcuffs on until we get upstairs. Can you lighten them up, though? Can you loosen them up? That's all I ask. They're, they're killing me right now. Fuck. Ah. Ow. I think it's because they're over the jacket. It might be a little tighter. I don't know what it is, John, but they're 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 digging into my arms, and I don't have no circulation, and they hurt like hell. Now you have my word. I will not touch you. Just please loosen them up. I, they, won't, they won't go any looser, Walter. They're, I'm looking at them right now. That's as loose as they'll go. Right, Here, hold, right. hold your hoodie, okay? All right. Can you pull my pants? No. I'm losing my drawers. Got him. I gave you my word, John. I'm not going to mess with you at all. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Walter. I like you. Make sure you hold your pants up, okay? Let me know if they start falling again. All right. I like you, John. Okay. We're going to go right over here. Is my shoes in there? You, you left your shoes? Well, see if they're, my shoes are in. I don't think you have shoes on when I put you in the car. Okay. Maybe they're in the, the vehicle. They're probably in the car. Okay. okay. I trust you, John. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Walter. I have no problem with you at all, John. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Walter. I'm cooperating. Yes, you are. You tell me very nice to me. You tell me Male, DUI. Not DUI, but okay. It is or is not a DUI. It is. is That's the DUI DUI talking. There's no DUI. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, just one second, Walter. Just so we can both fit through the door at the same time as we There we go. Okay, let's go right over here. It's going to open up on that side so you can just right. face that door. Okay. There we go. I told you I'd cooperate the whole way, John. Yeah, I appreciate that, Walter. I'm not going to give you no problem whatsoever. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're my word as a man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So when the store opens, we're gonna to walk to the right together, okay? Yeah. I've never been arrested before. I'm oh, sorry, this is your first time, Walter. So to your right, right over here. Here. Blue chair right over here. Just move this thing. So you're nice and neat. There you go. Can you take those off now? I'm no, we, we have to wait about, it'll be about 10 minutes, okay? I mean, like your facility already. I know, the, the jail staff has to take them off. All right. This is our procedure. I, I can't break it. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. John, you're already in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to be in more trouble, Walter. Okay. As soon as I call the commander, you're all going to be in trouble. Okay. Now, he's gonna he's gonna reprimand you too, but I'm gonna tell him to be a lot on you, but the other guy is no. Okay. Okay. Just so I know where we're at. I'm not gonna do anything unless you do but I like you. That's why I'm just waiting. There's not, Walter. Okay, so these questions I'm about to ask you, they're, they're considered administrative. It's not criminal. Are you ill? No. Okay. Are you wearing dentures, false no. teeth, or a partial plate? No. No? Okay. Do you have any foreign substances in your mouth at this time? No. Chewing gum, tobacco coins? Could you open your mouth for a second? Lift your tongue. Sweet. Will you take the breath test? No. Okay. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. 
Uh-huh. You arrested me for no reason. Hold on one second, Walter. So, I gotta, if you say no to the breath test, I just have to read you this, okay? Read me whatever you want. Okay. I am now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. Will you take the test? No. Okay. And there's going to be a long paragraph I'm going to read to you, so if you don't understand any of it, just let me know, okay? If you refuse to take the test, I have requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you have been previously fined under subsection 327.35215 for refusing to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test I have requested of you, And if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you have been previously fined under subsection 327.35215 for a refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusal to the test I have requested is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Do you understand what I have just read to you? Yes. Okay. Do you still refuse to submit to this test? Yes. Okay. You don't have a commercial motor vehicle license, do you? I do. You do? It's okay. It's CDL, yes. There you go. Okay, well, I'll still read this part to you, too, anyways, okay? What? If you are a commercial driver license holder or were driving a commercial motor vehicle... Your refusal to submit to testing will result in the loss of your commercial driving privilege for a period of one year from today. If this is your second refusal, you will be permanently disqualified from holding a CDL or operating a commercial motor vehicle. Do you understand what I've just read to you? Yes. Do you still refuse to submit to this test? Do you already have a DUI packet? I don't know. No. Again, it's 704. Yeah. What was that 1904? 1904? Yeah, he said he was going to kill you probably about 300 more times in the car. He looked right at the camera and he said, my name is Walter. And they're for medical purposes only. What's your last name? What's your last name? Edibles are, yes. What's your last name, Walter? Camp, C-A-M-P. Yeah, so he looked right at the camera about three times and said, I'm Walter Camp and I'm going to kill Deputy Roddy. I'm the boogeyman. And then he said he's going to kill your dog too. You're actually dead. You don't exist no more, Roddy. So, go home and kiss your wife and say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can't refuse that one. You're you're dead. I can't help it. I'm sorry. You've gone too far. Okay. I would like to save your life, but I can't. Well, you said in the car that you would offer, if he gave you his wife and his house, that you might let him live. You taking that offer away? No. So that's still that offer still on the table. You can't have it. You can just kill him. Okay. What about finding out where his kids go to school so you can kill him there? I will do that, yeah. Okay. Well. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. I think that's a mean one to do. Well, They're just I'm kids. I'm not a bad person. I'm just trying to make sure.
mask and just do it in linen. It's on my license. So, okay. It's on my license. All right, do you have a current address? That it's is on my license. Where is it? Where is it? Like, do you have a current address? It's on my license. Do you live there? It's on my license. Sir, I'm asking a very direct question. Do you I just answered you very directly. It's on my fucking license. That's not my Are question. Are you a fucking idiot? It's not my question. My question answer is, are you a fucking idiot? Do you have an, an address? I just answered you five fucking times. Do you live at that address? Is my question. That's in your fucking business, isn't it? It's a hundred percent my business. No, it isn't. I'm asking for information that I need to complete your citation. It's none of your fucking business, sir. I, I'm asking for information. It's none of your fucking your business, sir. Okay. Sir, I need your address. It's none of your fucking you business, sir. We'll try to add that one again, too. It's on my fucking license, idiot. Well, I just answered you five times. Now you're just an idiot. Don't you understand? It's on the fucking license. Yeah. 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 College prep to be a sheriff. So why are you such a fucking idiot? That's my question, sir. Are you putting my name on there for... I'll put mine. Or what do you want? For the BTO? Oh, no, I put mine for the BTO. Are you... Well, I mean, I just read it to him. I guess it doesn't matter. You're the for one that... Yeah, for this, I'll do the BTO. Okay. Do the Meaner towards him, towards you. We are good. He's an asshole. Okay, sweet. Make the, make the distinction. What was the arrest on? 1742. Okay. Oh, 1742, so that's 542. Um, can you finish the 20 minute while I go? Yeah. I'm my camera Okay. Mine's on too. We'll see ya. Kiss your wife goodbye. I'll see you in three minutes. Well, I'll, I will see you in six minutes. I'm giving him a chance to I'll say goodbye. That's decent of me, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice thing to do, Walter. Well, in the field, we don't let people say goodbye. But in reality, give them a chance, John. That's all I can do. One copy of fraud at headquarters. The RP is going to be standing by the elevators. So it's eleven. So 7, 11 p.m. You seen the deer hunter? The movie? The deer hunter. I'm 1978. Sure. Probably not. I don't think uh, so. He's from Pennsylvania, the little deer hunter. One shot, one kill. I don't need one shot, John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> From 2,000 yards. Try to find me, brother. <laughs> Try to find me. <laughs> I can be off the island before you even find out he's not here. Think about that, John. Hey, Walter, so I got, I got read in that thing, so your license is going to be suspended for one year, okay? It's so not going to happen, John, but go ahead. Okay, well, your lawyer, you know, they can do whatever they can do, but for right now, until you talk to your lawyer, if they're able to do something where you can get a license again, just so you know, it's going to be suspended, unless your lawyer... Good luck with that, John. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to let you know, Walter. There you go, John. I know the law. Okay. I know the law. Well, we just suspended it in the system, okay? It doesn't matter, John. Good luck with that. Okay. Well, Walter, I'm just trying to let you know, okay? Thank you. you. I don't want you to Thank drive you, with a suspended Thank license. You, John. My license will be suspended for a year. He's got six months to live. <laughs> Think about that, John. <laughs> He'll be dead before my license comes back. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think that's funny, John. Yeah. In six months, he'll be dead. It doesn't matter, John. Does it? Does it really matter? It doesn't matter, John. People die every day. You do what you gotta do, John. <coughs> you see, I don't need a lawyer. Because okay. I'm gonna kill that guy. You understand? Well, it's it's usually... that simple. We don't need a lawyer for killing. Uh -huh. There you go. We don't need a lawyer. 7814,